I'm right outside of Leavenworth, Washington on Highway 2, cruising down the road with the family on the way to the campground. And I look to my right and I go, wait a second, I'm not in New Jersey, but look at that beautiful sparkling diner. I gotta check it out. This is the 59er Diner. Let's go, kids. Wait, Dad, isn't this the drive-in? No, it's, it's a, a diner. Philly cheesesteak sells. 59er Diner is a destination. The food is dynamite. Bacon cheeseburger. The feel is incredible. The decor, the neon lights. And even though this old school spot has hit a few bumps in the road, owner, wild man Joe Canada, cheese stick, cheese stick, burger, burger, keeps the joint rocking and rolling. It's a brand new diner. We had an old diner. 2016, we had an unfortunate fire, burned the building down. That day, I had t-shirts made that said, make lemonade. In that situation, that's what you gotta do. They built this diner in Georgia in six pieces, and they drove it cross country. It is beautiful. It's classic diner food at its finest. Mozzarella sticks with homemade marinara. The mozzarella sticks are so good. The dipping sauce is out of this world. It so. looks like you take your mozzarella sticks very seriously. We got an egg wash here. We're going to throw a few spices in. Sugar, garlic powder, okay. a little oregano, paprika, dry mustard, and lemon pepper, black pepper. It goes right in the egg wash. Right in the egg wash. OK. You want some milk in this, too? Just a touch. OK, that's good. We have the beautiful mozzarella logs that were cut into the precise Five-eighths of an inch, five-eighths by five-eighths. There you go. Flour on them, then you got to knock the flour off. Went to the egg wash. Into the panko. So you go okay. like this, and then hit the ends. We're going to batter them again. The little roll thing is interesting. So it keeps it from being square. Now it becomes a little bit more round. Handmade, real deal. If it tastes half as good as it looks, it's going to be a great mozzarella stick. After they set up for a couple hours, they'll fry at 350. That's right. And we're going to serve them with some fresh marinara. All right, Big Joe. Throw a little olive oil in the bottom. It's all about garlic. Just a hint of brown in there. And the plum tomatoes. Very nice. A little more tomato. He's doing exactly what you're supposed to do. You go and rinse these cans with water to get every little last bit of the tomato out of there. A little bit of the water in there. A little salt, a little sugar, oregano, a little Italian seasoning. And we'll let this cook Whoop. down how long, Joe? Just 45 minutes or an hour. Cheese sticks, a little marinara. And that's all she wrote. Ooh, that's gooey. That's what I'm talking about. The fact that you can contain all the cheese inside of this without having the blowouts is outstanding, because that's one of the biggest challenges. You fry it just the right amount to where the cheese is melted, not too oily, and you still got really nice crunch. That's a legit cheese stick. Mozzarella sticks. The mozzarella sticks are amazing. The mozzarella is hot and fresh. They crunch, they pull. The marinara is really good. 